so guys i have my puree right here i uploaded this video a while back the link will be in the description box down below if you haven't seen this video as yet you can go ahead and watch it and follow the directions instead of making the dough from scratch to make my sorrel cake i went ahead and purchased a red velvet cake from the store i was a bit lazy so i was like why not do a sorrel cake hack so this is what i chose to do instead of making the dough from scratch as i said before so the only ingredients i need to add to the cake mix are egg oil and water so i went in with one egg a bit of water and some olive oil i will place the link to the measurements in the description box as well after combining all of that together i went in with the cake mix so i did not follow the measurement on the cake box because i did already add some ingredients in the puree which i did off camera and i will also link that in the description box So what I'm doing right here is to mix everything together along with the sorrel puree. I realized that the ball was too small so I have to pour everything into the sorrel puree and mix everything combined together. This is what your mixture should look like, not too soft and not too thick. It's supposed to have a runny texture. After that, I grease two baking tins with some butter and place a parchment paper on the bottom so that the cake do not stick to the pan when it is finished baking. So you want to bake these cakes for about 1 hour and 30 minutes to 1 hour and 45 minutes. You can always check them with a q-tip in the middle in order to know if they're finished baking or not. As I said before, I did not use the regular recipe for the dough. So if you want to make the dough from scratch, I will also leave the measurements in the description box down below as well. Bear in mind that the cake won't come out as red as this look because of the red velvet. It will look more darker or more like the sorrel than the red velvet cake if you make the dough from scratch. So after finish baking, this is what your cake should look like. Bear in mind, I did not use any alcohol and I did not use any fruit, but when you taste it, it tastes like I really added wine in there, but I didn't add any. I used some of the sorrel juice that I made to top it off, but I think I used too much. That's why it looked like that. It looked a bit too wet and you should do this as soon as it came out of the oven then for the finished product i added some cherry on top with some whipped cream of course and then you can just serve and enjoy it tastes really yummy guys you need to try this so guys we have come to the end of this video remember to like comment share and subscribe and to tell a friend to tell a friend about will kitchen youtube channel i shall see you guys in the next video peace okay.